a bird's eye view of the Bluegrass State. You see the band is playing Eastern Kentucky, taking the short trip down the road, about 40 minutes to Lexington to take on the Wildcats. They call this the Catwalk. And look at this, they call him Eastern the Cat Kentucky. Daddy. The Mark Stoops is ready to go and so is his squad. And how about this though, former assistant Walt Wells back in Lexington, meeting up with longtime friend Mark Stoops, his former head coach. Smith in motion. Play fake. Here comes the pressure. Has to throw it away. Octavius Oxen defensive line, but it's a, something needs to be said about this defensive line. Octavius Oxen down. Second and 19. Wide open is Brown. In space, he's trouble trying to find some in camp. 20 yard game. A play for a second and 19. Barry and Brown, and it's called speed. Bottom line is this when you have a receiver who is as fast as Wildcats. Davis with that vision. In the current territory. 13 yard game. Davis. Great blocking up front by the offensive line. I really like 69. Marcus Cox was able to. Ray Davis back in the football game. Here. Nice catch by the freshman Brown Stevens. Climbs the ladder and comes down with it. Six yard game. This is what you're in the pipe. He saw the inside cross dog that you see right there. Got it up high. Brown Stevens making an excellent. Carter. Thrown down behind the line of scrimmage. Not much he could do there. Trevon Ripka. Trevon Ripka, he's just coming down the line of scrimmage playing ball. You see his offensive tackle. Goes down for the block. You're tall. Here comes the blitz. McKinney steps out of it. Only so much he can do. Walker again. Up in this. I'm going to send both of my inside backers, flush him out of the pocket. McKinney, his presence was needed here most. Play fake to McLean. Pass complete. Leary. Second and four for the Wildcats. McLean on the carry, finding his way to space. Over the 25 yard line, a jarring hit. Lucky for him and the Wildcats, it bounced. To Tom McLean, he outruns the defense, puts a nice move, but you gotta be able to hold on to the ball even when you. Boy, does McKinney look comfortable. So to Sloan, close to a first down, but that could be the break that the Wildcats needed. The crowd loves it, and a big turnover. First one of the day. There is Keyshawn Silver. He looks like Trevor Wallace came in here. And I don't know if he stripped the ball or not. Let's take another look at it. Trevor Wallace. Look at that big blue wall up front. I think he did get it out. He got it out. He sure did. That's your guy. He talked to us yesterday. Wildcats. Leary, 8 for 12 on the day. A lot of short passes, though. Here's another one to Davis. Absorbing contact, running over Nunez. The center judge right in the middle of that one. McKinney throws down the middle of the field. Maxwell Hairston, big-time pick. Last week, Coach Stoops said sometimes he looked a little like a guy playing his first game at cornerback. Today, looking like a savvy veteran. Have this one back. He takes a shot. They was in shot territory. Maxwell Harrison had a different design in his mind. Turnover. Third and four for Leary. Quick pass, quick catch. Robinson moves the chains. Six-yard game. Love, love the recognition of ball snap. Look at the two inside backers coming on the cross dog blitz. He know he has to get the ball out fast. Great recognition. I formation. Play fit. Pressure comes. Leary showing Moxie. Once again, finding Robinson. 18 yard game. Now, Devin Leary. 
Jury is starting to process of elimination. He knew the linebackers were sucked up. The corner was off. Deb Tavion Robinson hit. Motion from Smith. Very little room. Right back up the middle goes Carter. Kentucky defense and Derek Jackson. Second and long. Off his back foot, it is complete. Smith thrown down right away. Geiger on third down. Thanks in part to this cool customer. Not this time. All over him was Trevin Wallace. Playing downhill last week, just the way Coach Wapin back there. SEC Defensive Player of the Week last week. Trevin Wallace just relentless coming with the on. Leary, wide open. Jordan Dingle, 16-yard game. Make the defense think. Look at everybody get caught on one side. Jordan Dingle comes back, big tight end. First down, your quarterback got to love it. Wow, bearing down like a heat-seeking missile is Trevor Wallace, the reigning SEC Defensive Player of the Week. What Brad Jackson is doing, Brad White is doing defensive coordinator. And I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. Possible the ball won't leave Parker McKinney's hands. And it doesn't. Thrown down to the turf. J.J. Weaver makes quick work of it. Marion Brown is deep. The last thing they want to do is get the ball to him. Coach Wells said they were going to kidnap him and keep him off kick returns. He is running free now. They should have kidnapped him. Across the 25. Wildcats in business. I don't know why would you kick it to him? Because this guy is electric, had a 99-yard kickoff return last week. To get that done. Leary launches it to the left side. Touchdown, Robinson, 24 yards. T talk about taking a shot. Devin Leary, way to fight back, young man. And the crowd here at Kroger Field, 60,000 strong, has been brought back to life. Expecting to see play action fake, and you can tell he saw the one on one opportunity and he just put it in a bucket in the back of the end zone that allowed his receiver, Tavion Robinson, to come down with it. Perfect ball placement. The DB thought he was good, and Leary loved it. Uh, the he transfer. That. He did need it. Kentucky crowd making noise. McKinney under pressure from Wallace didn't have a chance. There goes that man again, Trevor Wallace. And the thing I like about, I don't know if he had the back man-to-man -man coverage, but he saw something and he pulled the trigger. And he talked about it last week, Pete. A concerned hush over the crowd here at Kroger Field. Larry trying to give him something to cheer about. Quick strike to Key. First down, 11 yards. Leary throws right down the middle of the field. Robinson wrapped up inside the 35, 25-yard game. I tell you what, Devin, listen, they are connecting today. And a lot of it has been the deep overs across the middle, as we see right here. And I just... Reverse. The explosive Brown inside the 30. The crowd erupts. The turf monster might have gotten him. 26-yard game. Liam Cohen came back. He understands the impact of the play calling. Putting the ball inside of his playmaker's hand. And how did he get... Leary. Took the contact. We've got a flag down. Right now, we got Robinson with the second touchdown.
Face mask on the defense. Kentucky. What a play by Devin Leary. Guys, it's a lot going on on this play. And it's a lot. Coach Stoops told us. Woo! Off we come there. Wildcats lead. Sloan did most of the damage on that last possession. McKinney pulls it down, tried to slip out of the pocket. And is brought down. Robinson makes the play along with. Robinson got a lot of great pressure up front. Keyshawn Silver, though, for me, just. Robinson on the end around. He's got two touchdowns. He'd like three across the 40. It's a foot race. Finally catching up to him all the way down the field is Evans, but not before a huge game. 56 yards. Ian Cohen is like, I need to get the ball to the guy who's been giving me results. Tavion Robinson. It's not a handoff. It counts as a pass since he kind of touched, you know, flip. Middle of the defense. Leary. Wide open. 13 yard touchdown for Brown. Time to have some fun here in Lexington. It seems to me this Kentucky offense, they go when they get big plays. Play action, and you see they brought Varian all the way across field. And that's one route they haven't been able to stop. You see the linebackers. It was an all-out blitz from the linebackers in the inside. Number 17 linebacker from Eastern Kentucky, Fall. He didn't see him coming behind him. Ended up touchdown. Here's Ray Davis trying to sew away a victory Ray across Davis. the 40. Seven yard game. Brown in motion. You felt that one coming to the short side of the field. He is run out of bounds after picking up nine yards. There with the play call, but you're taking Barry and Brown, running him into the boundary. Because it's so unconventional, defense is sleep on it. Second and short again for the Wildcats. Leary, right between the numbers. Brown is pulled down just outside of the 30-yard line after a 14-yard game. Rhythm. They're understanding. Look, guys, certain plays are going to be open. We just need. For NC State, over a year and a half period. Trying to bring that act to Lexington. Ray Davis coming over from Nashville. A Vanderbilt transfer for eight yards. After the snap. Leary floats right, throws left. Ray Davis extends, touchdown. 24 yards. Very nice setup for Liam Cohen and the Kentucky Wildcats. Fakes it to Ray Davis out of the backfield, rolls to the right. He knew nobody was going to cover the back coming out of the backfield. Why? Because they haven't shown that all day. They didn't show it last week. Not Colonel 6 of 11 on third down so far this afternoon. McKinney under pressure and it gets to him. Check him out. Deion Walker. Loss of 10. Deion Walker was offside two times. Look at the hand moving in the inside. It's known across the SEC when this guy is playing full speed and he gets a hit of the play beforehand, he is unstoppable. Running free and a nice catch by Key. 16 yard game. They'll go back to the ground. And Davis. Spinning across the 40 is finally thrown down by Jackson. Nine yard gains out of the game. Let's take another look. We talk about the big blue ball and also number 85, Jordan Dingle with the great block that allowed. Yeah, and, and that's what you use these games for, to be able to do it. Eastern Kentucky coming with the zero blitz. And this is one of the things that I can truly say 
looking at Devin and each other on that first block punt when it seems like Cornelius Evans just basically took it off the foot of Wilson Perry as we see spinning for a first down is Ramon Jefferson. It was a surprise. Players to the edge and get the one on one matchup that Liam Cohen, offensive coordinator, loves doing. So they fought back hard this game. So there's Mark Stoops. Has to like the fight in his team and the end result, but some stuff to improve. Final score as he embraces Walt Wells, his former assistant. The two are very good friends. Kentucky victorious today, 28 to 7.